Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very pleasant evening I bid to the panels and judges. My name is Muhammad Farhan bin Jalil and I'm from semester 7 from Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. Today I will be presenting about my final year project which is finite element analysis of ballistics impact on ceramics focusing on impact energy and impact shape. My supervisor for this project is Mr. Muhammad Suhairil bin Meon. This is the outline of my presentation. Firstly, I will give introduction about my project. Next, I will give the problem statement that I've gotten, the objective, the scope and significance of study, the literature review that I've chosen from selected publication, the methodology, and the expected result from this project. For the introduction of my project, I've chosen the material called alumina, AL203 ceramic. It is known to be a very hard ceramic that is excellent at resisting abrasion. And it is one of the main ceramic materials used commercially in the development of ballistic armors. It is sufficiently rigid to fragment the projectile and reduce the speed, transforming it into small fragments that should be stopped by the layer that supports the ceramic. It is the best cost-benefit ratio among advanced ceramics like silicon carbide. It also has high modulus of elasticity, high refractoriness, high hardness, and relatively lower cost. In the diagram that I've given, that is the example of the ceramics being hit by a projectile. So as the layer of ceramic been impacted by the projectile, it will fragment it and it will blunt the projectile to stop it from penetrating the ceramic armor. Next, for my project, I've selected a few impactor that I've chosen to be used in this project. The impactor used in this project consists of three different types, which is a blunt impactor, an ogival impactor, and a conical impactor. So, the simulation of this project will be done in a Becker's explicit in order to analyze the behavior and combination of alumina AL203 during ballistic impact. It is being done in the software of Abacus. This is the problem statement of my title. The subject of this study is mostly done in experiments and fewer studies have been made through Abacus explicit in previous studies. So as you can see in the diagram below, at the left one, it is a gas gun system, which researchers use to study the fragmentation of ceramic during ballistic impact. Next, previous research did not compare the different type of impact to shape and different impact energy of projectile and how it affects the combination of ceramic. Because ceramic tile experiments only are so uncommon, there is relatively little experiment data available based on the numerical approach. Mostly, the research papers are being done from an experiment. This is the objective of my project. It is to develop three-dimensional finite element models of ceramics alumina AL203 against various types of impactor shapes and impact energy. Next, to predict the structural responses of ceramics using the Johnson Home Squeeze JH2 damage model. And next, to analyze the behavior and damage pattern of the models with respect to the impact energy and impactor shape of the projectile. These are the few examples of a simulation that will be made in the next semester of FYP2. For the scope and significance of study, this research focuses on modeling using Abacus explicit and not experiment. In this work, experimental data will be obtained from selected publications to mimic the experiment in dynamic analysis. Damage model of Johnson Home Squeeze JH2 will be implemented on alumina AL203 ceramics with respect to different types of impact energy and impactor shape. So, 
there are three different types of impactor shape that being used, which is blunt, ogival, and conical projectile. So the two different impact energy that have been chosen will be implemented to produce six different damage models. So based on the literature review that I've been summarizing along this semester, I can conclude that based on the papers, there are a few significant conclusions that have been made from the researchers. Firstly, Andreska et al. concludes that fracture toughness and hardness have been found to be the most important parameters affecting the impact strength of ceramics. The target hardness helps with projectile erosion, while fracture toughness affects a ceramic's ability to withstand multiple impacts. And Gold et al. Micro attenuation takes place within ceramic tiles, and as it increases, the farthest distance traveled by the wavefront from the point of impact decreases. And to the last one, Ryan et al. in their studies of the relationship between radial pre stress magnitude and ballistic projectile dwell in heavily confined ceramic target, found significant cracking on ceramics, but an absence of residual penetration from the projectile into the backing steel and classified it as interface defeat or prolonged dwell. So this is the methodology of my project. Firstly, modeling ceramics with different impactor shape and impact energy. A three-dimensional damage model is developed using Abacus Explicit with 3D solid elements. The ceramic material assigned for the model is Alumina AL203 and the three types of projectiles are used which are blunt, ogival, and conical. This will be transferred into a simulation in Abacus Explicit. Next, the validation of damage initiation and growth. So there are two different impact energy that are being applied on each model, which has different impact shapes as shown in table one. The comparison between the performance of the johnson home squeeze damage model will be plotted in a graph. So for the analysis of the damage model, the performance and damage patterns of six models with respect to Alumina AL203 ceramics will be analyzed. The failure patterns of ceramic combination and projectile damage of the models will be examined. And lastly, documentation and report writing. The theory and data of the obtained result are documented in the thesis report. The thesis report is written for publication purposes. The overall process to complete the project is visual, visualized in the next slide. This is the flowchart of the project. As you can see on the right side, it is the test matrix that has been prepared for this project. So it has various of impact velocities with the same material of ceramic, which is Alumina AL203, with different impact shape with the same damage model of Johnson Home Squeeze 2. So in the flowchart, it started with the modeling phase. So the Alumina AL203 will be set as the input material selection. Next, the boundary condition will be set based on the table on the right side, which have the impact energy and impact shape. Then, the damage model that has been chosen will be implemented, which is Johnson Home Squeeze JH2. Next, after the modeling phase has been done, we will run the simulation. After the simulation has been done, we will check the result whether it satisfies or not. If the result satisfies, we will analyze the damage model and make a discussion based on the results and next to the documentation. If the result did not satisfy, we will get back to the modeling phase and start it all over again. This is the expected result of the project. The six different three-dimensional damage models of Johnson Home Squeeze JH2 developed using Abacus Explicit will show the behavior of Alumina AL203 and the ballistics impact. The different impactor shapes will be documented to determine which damage model performs better. And the different impact energy will show 
the influence on the failure behavior of the damaged models. The failure pattern, such as ceramics combination and projectile damage, could be analyzed. The implementation of Abacus Explicit in the numerical approach leads to high accuracy in predicting the failure behavior of the Illumina AL203 ceramic. That is all for my presentation regarding my final year project. I hope you will get a better understanding regarding my project, and I wish you a best day ahead. With that, thank you.